well out with the rotors uh, today. You can see a few more rotors videos over the coming weeks. I've got some coils and things coming, so I'll do some tests, step them there, and uh, field tests with I think the sniper coming and a Goliath coil coming from Mars, all which will be available to buy from the Technics eventually. Um, so today we're on pasture. I'm not sure if you can pick this out on the video, but going across this field diagonally there's a footpath that back a couple hundred years, so we're going to follow that today, just see what we find, see how we get on. Well, good strong signal, it's a high 90s. Um, I can tell you what it is, but all of both ends look modern. Can do it with a bike maybe? Valve, something like that. Anyway, first find in inverted commas of the day. See in the hole as well, just how stony the ground around here is, so not necessarily expecting anything deep today, but I also expect quite probably like to dig through. So we... uh, and the sheep has come to see me today as well. This one's a bit fearless, I normally wander off, but this one seems to want to sail on. Wonder if he knows there's any treasure. I'll be sure I'll coin of the day. Straight line, good signal on the the VDI. See it just there in the hole. Oh, let's see what it is. Looks like a two pay one. Hitting it again, you see just that side of the wall there. Almost like another coin, could have cost me a bit, I guess we'll find out. Uh, the one thing I have done uh, this session, uh, perhaps I'm tweak the settings a little bit, is put it into uh, dual mode. Um, definitely dual mode, you get some different noises, different sounds. I don't know if it's helping with the coins, but so far so good in terms of getting. Accidentally pressed stop when I didn't mean to, let's pull out. Oh. oh, that's in nice condition. Oh, look at that, straight out of the hole. Wow. Oops, yes. A little lovely neck. Beautiful car. Remember to check the hole and Pinpoint it seems to be suggesting something else in here, so let's see if there's more coins, maybe a little coin spot. Look. And in it, next to where the coin was, this piece of iron. Uh, this is definitely doing well today, and it's nice to spot the coin when it literally this was uh, a centimetre to the side of it. Well done, Mr. Russ. Another good signal in the hole, high 90s. Pretty straight line. See what this is. Uh, and the answer is coin shaped. Let's see if it's coin shaped there. Let's see. Yep, yeah, nope. I thought it was an odd colour. Bolt up. What a shame. So next out, it was a bit scratchy, but I dug it. Was it? This came out. Difficult to tell it's even metal, but it is. I don't like it like there, but if we come on this side. Oh, there's lumps and bumps indicative of something. 
Not sure. Can I see a pattern on the film as well? Clean it up at home, see if it's out there. Uh, another strobe signal in the hole. straight line. See as well I'm still following the line of the footpath. I'll go up and down it a few times either side this afternoon hopefully. But back to this one see what we get with a decent signal. What we got was a big strong signal on these things. About five inches down, quite deep for this stony field, um, and then about inch and a half across. Must be for something given the hole in the middle, but no idea what it's thick as well. Anybody any clue what they are? Please put something in the comments. Thank you. Oh, this one went it was a small dual mode that picked this up, so quite faint. I think it's because under a, a stone here, but somewhere in here. Uh, you see anything? Seems to have got it. Yep. Yep. Uh, uh, it's a bit of it. Yep. Not doing any before today. Now I've got two in the same day. Nice. But it's doing really well on coins today. So is that it again with the coins? Can you see the shape there? Ram shapes. Like that. Gotta be a bit of a cross. But it's not done that, so I've not found a button. Nope. Another coin. Uh, uh, modern 2P. I'll add some my pre decimal stuff, but never mind, another coin. So Russ has done it again on the coins. Oh, an entire day today. You see the edge of it there? There we go. Oh, is that another 2p? Is there such a thing as a 2p coin spell? No. Another 2p to go with the other one. That was literally six inches away. I think that's a mini spell. We might be in the coins of territory. Just got another signal. Six inches from there which is where the last 2p came from this was from there where the last 2p came from so let's see what's in this hole but i'm expecting another mod and it looks like we do have a mini coin swap and you see that there in the corner there you go let's find out i think there's another 2p to be honest yep bizarrely third 2p within what 12 inches of each other i guess coin spill of 2p's how unusual. We've got this theory for a footpath, which is that the middle of the footpath is where you don't find anything. And it's actually the side due to things bouncing. So most people walk along the footpath itself, but then things they drop bounce either side. So all the coins so far have been to the right hand side is looking at on the video of the footpath. I'm now walking up the middle. I've gone a good third of the footpath I'm not finding anything. Now I've got a signal. Let's uh, see what we've got. This is theoretically in the middle of the footpath. On this particular footpath, you can't see it here, but there are some signs of it. Uh, as you walk along it, it's actually been paved at one point. And the paving stones, big ones, uh, old ones, about two or three inches down. So I think I'm definitely in my bounce that we would probably hold true on this particular footpath. So always go a good six to ten feet either side of a footpath. When you can, you never know how far things bounce. I don't know if you can see in this particular hole how flat that bottom is. That's one of the paving slabs I was talking about. Target's now in out in this plug, nice and solid. See what's there. And trying to get live again. It's only shallow. You can see how shallow the plug is. You can see uh, what's about two inches tops. That's because. That's paving slab from the uh, when this pack footpath has been paved at some point. Right. Somewhere over 
here. Soil here is like cardboard. Consistency of. Grab my spear. Yep, oh, there we go. Coin. I don't know what coin it is, but uh, that's Elizabeth. And that's a penny. I won a penny. And it's all in the middle of the footpath, so another clod that's come out really shallow because there's a paving slab underneath it. Uh, so it's in the clod, really strong signal. Last time it was a penny. See what we get this time. Oh, there we go. First button by looking at it. Button impressed, I think. It's a very small button by looking at There we go. Got something on it by looking at it. See if we can't clean it up at home and see if we can see a pattern. And what looks like another coin. Literally flip the clod over and you can see it. Clod in again. Yep, Elizabeth. And another 2p. A lot of 2p today. And there's another one that just looks like a coin. Just literally flips it out of the uh, side of the wall of the plug. It's about 2 3 inches down. It's very little. I wonder what it is. Yeah. Of course, it could not be a coin. Could be something else. Is that something on there? Definitely looks like something looks like writing on that. Uh, see if we can clean it up and so on and see what that is. It could be quite exciting because that's quite thin. Right, let's see if we can it for it. And continuing to smash it, looks like another coin in the hole. And let's see what we've got this time. Quite as exciting as the silver we just had, which the silver was a threepence by looking at 1916. Oops, so it's pre decimal again, so it's another pre decimal coin to there. Can't quite make it out, clean that up at home and see which pre decimal that is 1920 something by looking at. This one's out in the plug. It's a really strong signal, almost feels too strong, so it could be a can or something like that. Let's see what we get. Wrong. Another can. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, ships. Is that a half penny? Elizabeth? Yet another coin today to add to the collection. Absolutely killing it today. I don't know if it's turning on the dual mode, but it certainly doesn't seem to be doing any harm. Also, dug almost no trash as well. Been a little more discriminating with what I'm digging, but um, killing it today. Absolutely killing it. I'm um, just flicked another coin shape thing out the side of the wall. Oh, this hole, and then lost it again. There we go. Mm. Yeah, looks like a press to the button or some description. No discernible pattern. Check it out, um, see if we get any pattern on it or anything. And surprise, surprise, yet another coin. Uh, looks like second 10 pence of the day. Spendable. Not quite the uh, petrol, but hey, all counts. I nearly lost this one completely, so I flicked it 
uh, flicked the clod out, the shower of earth went with it because it's quite dry, ended up actually down here, and it was only because I happened to walk back over it with the uh, rutters as I was putting the rutters on its stand, stroke spurred, um, that I noticed uh, there was something else, so there we go, another, let's have a look, what have we got this time? Same with Edward, looks like it, right there. Edward the seventh penny. Nice. And the date is 190 something. 190 or something. Absolutely smashing it today on the rest of the coins. So many on this footpath. Got a Goliath coil on pre order. I'll do some videos of that, I might come back and have another sweep. Uh, see if a bigger coil finds anything deeper. There you go, another coin. I'm digging away in the hole. Flicky, flicky, flick. Pull back to dig, pull some dirt out with my hand. Notice that I've already flicked it out onto the side. Second time I've done that today. And that's far this time. And yet another coin. That George, yep, one of George's, the younger one. Oh, the more recent one, so that's that. Uh, sixth. Got a nice one in good condition. Soil is quite dry, so he's in condition well. Ship half penny. Very nice. Absolutely smashing it, too. So loving it. Yeah, we're going to save the rest of this footpath for another day. It goes down past those telegraph poles down to the bottom corner of the field. Doesn't look like it's as well trodden here either, so uh, footpath it may be about used, seems to be rarely. Um, so we'll go back the way we came, swing all the way back to the car, see if we find any other coins. I think there's something like 15, 18 coins up for today. Uh, so, a very good day out with the rotors, first time fully using it in dual mode on a tweak coin setting. So, if you normally use it in dual mode, Oh, we're thinking about it go. Next find, not oh, a coin for once. It is a big old padlock. It looks like it's been cut off at some point. So what that was on and then removed from, I'm not sure. Pretty heavy though. 